Jesus came to the world to make us laugh. To wipe away our tears. To give us joy. To give us peace and life. And that's why whatever you have, whenever you have that opportunity to make people happy, do it without hesitation. When God speaks to you, follow the voice of God. And some people are going to ask us, why are we blessed in Genesis? Nobody can stop us from being blessed. As I was preaching, as I was blessing you, some people came out and you were dropping seeds on the altar to, to claim it. And God said to me, let me show you. Mama, come, 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 come. No, the woman, come. come. Do you know why you're giving money? You know why you're blessing the altar? You're doing that because you're confirming the authenticity of the word and you're claiming it to yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Do me a favor. Go get me wrong. Under two minutes. Get yourself a nylon bag. Go. Come. Oh, you've been able to take nylon bag, right? Open the nylon. Begin to pack with your hand. And take it. Pack with your hand. Put it in your bag. Pack it. Go home with it. I don't know why God said I should do that. But trust me, it is my mission in life that every member of Genesis must laugh. And I don't know how it's going to happen, but whatever you do, we live to add value to our generation. Genesis is not about what you're going to give to the church. He said, but what the church is going to give to you? Crying and packing. I push it to you. Back all. If there's nothing we want to do again, if this is the only thing we're going to do today in the church, let a member of the church go home with what you have blessed me with. She was only thinking of the little coin that would take her home. But nothing in her account. Nothing with her. She doesn't have anything. God just told me that right now. And God says, when they were blessing, as they were blessing you, tell her to pack all the seed. I don't know how it's going to be. But trust me, my coming to the ministry is to be a blessing to all my members. Some people are just coming again to bless her for the second time. Some people are going to empty all their pockets. Or whatever you want to give to the church right now. To bless this woman. I didn't know. I was just preaching. I was just praying. And God said to me. There is a member of yours inside the church. As people were giving. She was looking at her center. Oh I didn't have money to drop. And God said. Bless her with everything. Come on let's do this. Genesis let's do this. Come on Genesis let's do this. Let's unpack everything and go home. Yes. She didn't beg for it. She didn't ask for it. She didn't tell me nothing. She didn't ask me for anything. But what God said to me. Oh. I've been there. I know what it is. Let's have back. Back your money. Let's have back all the money. I was, I was prophesying. I was praying, and you started blessing me. You started tapping into it, and God said, "You know what? There's a lady in the church sitting down. She's got nothing to eat. She's got nothing to take home." And I remember then when my mother used to beg for food before we have things to eat. When she would go to church and she would have to sweep the church, clean the church, and no hope of anything for us to eat. I remember then that we we'll go to church. If we drink, if we're able to take tea, it's going to be this Sunday and it's going to be another Sunday. And the tea will be bongo tea. 
without sugar. The only time we started having opportunity to laugh was when we started taking it with chaparin. But trust me, I don't want to have too many things. I don't want to have properties. I don't want to have cars. I don't want to have fancy things. I want to be blessed to be a blessing to my generation. Because one day, we're going to say bye-bye to the world. And you're not going to take anything to hand to it. There's nothing we have brought to this world. There's nothing we're going to take away. All whatever we have right now, vanity upon vanity. You cannot, there's no chairperson, no chairman on our harvest day because we are one in Christ. We don't want to have no special chair for nobody in this church. We want everybody to be one. We don't want anybody to feel inferior. We don't want anybody to feel superior. We don't want anybody to feel like I am a nobody. We don't want anybody to feel like I am useless. I want to tell all our members, you are useful. Without you, I am nothing. I just want to tell you, Jesus loves us. And His word is all about love. There is no church in heaven. The only church I believe and the only structure of the church I know is what I call love. There is no church in heaven. Let any pastor that is saying is a born again Christian is holy and best more than others. Tell that pastor is a fake pastor. He is not a pastor because he went. Don't tell, tell me he's a pastor because he went to Bible school or theology school. He's a pastor if he's able to show love to people. Muslims are your brothers. Don't hate them. If you show them love by blessing them, they will appreciate your God. Attacking them, which you war against them, will not have the word, will not let us have peace in the world. Somebody is hungry and you are preaching Jesus to the person. Give the person food and the person will listen to you to want to know your Jesus. Let's tell them.